Muhsin. He says that we know that praying in a masjid with a grave inside of it is totally prohibited because the masjids are supposed to be only for Allah and you cannot establish such a masjid on a grave or introduce a grave to a masjid. And the scholars say that if there was a grave and you build a masjid on top of it, the masjid has to be demolished. And if there is an existing masjid and then you introduce a grave to it, the grave must be dug out the, and uh, the remains must be taken out. The problem is that he says that what about the grave of the Prophet ﷺ? It is in Medina. It is in the masjid. And we say, like all scholars say, that this is not true. The Prophet ﷺ, if you read his seerah, where was he buried? Not a single person who knows Islam would say that he was buried in the masjid. Everybody knows that he was buried in the house of Aisha. And the house of Aisha was not in the masjid. Because she is a woman. She gets her menses and uh, uh, things happen. And this cannot take place in the masjid. Her house was like all the mothers of the believers, the wives of the Prophet ﷺ, were adjacent. Their houses were adjacent to the masjid. So... The Prophet ﷺ, Abu Bakr and Umar, may Allah be pleased with them both, were all buried in the room, in the chamber of Aisha. Years afterwards, after Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, Muawiyah, uh, uh, Yazid, in the time of Marwan ibn Abdul Malik, if I'm correct, long afterwards, he instructed his Amir, who was the Caliph of the uh, Umayyad uh, uh, Empire, he instructed his Amir to expand the Masjid. And he ordered him to include the houses of the mothers of the believers within the Masjid. And all the Tabi'een objected. Among them was Sa'id ibn Musayyib and others. They said, this is not permissible. What can you do when the ruler has the army, the civil defense, the national guard, the uh, uh, marines, the navy, everything? He said, Simon says, you're going to do this. And he forced them to do it. So the Prophet ﷺ was never buried in the masjid. It was this Khalifa who included the house of Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, in the borders of the masjid and I hope this answers your question. We have a short